in this Dallas neighborhood after reading the arrest documents of Tanner Horner. His face recognizable to many by now. The former FedEx contract driver is charged with capital strands death. His arrest warrant says he was contracted to drive for FedEx by Big Top Spin Inc. The company's address, a home in this Dallas neighborhood. A woman living there declined to comment on the case, and a representative for the company has yet to respond to WFAA about or staff. Is the contract working out of their house like that? It shocks me. This is Mike Lyons. He's an attorney for Lyons and Simmons in Dallas. He reached a settlement with Charter Communications after a third party cable installer for the company raised to 70. Two-year-old Dallas into a job, a contractor. It's why we're talking with him. The big question is, how does this guy end up there, and what is his past? A question FedEx didn't answer when WFAA asked. Along with these, like how long Horner had been contracted to work with FedEx, when he began routes, how many drivers are contracted through Big Top Spin, and what the shipping giant's hiring protocols are for them. A spokesperson told us service provider companies utilize their own employees, vehicles, and equipment. As such, we are not at liberty to discuss details of personnel employed by service providers. That's a question that needs to be answered. And with answers coming short, line is turning mother will post FedEx and its relationship. Lions questions. P or top and those questions land. On this Dallas Street. This guy's going to show up in your front yard. He needs to be properly vetted and trained and to make that this guy's not some type of a threat. In, I'm Matt Howerton. Well, hopefully they'll we'll get their answers. I just wanted to give you guys that update. So they are investigating everything they can surrounding this case. Thank you all. Have a great night. Yeah.